Recently, I saw someone on Facebook share a video promoting Pokemon Go, the latest and supposedly greatest Pokemon experience to take the world by storm. Everyone's getting pretty psyched up for it, writing comments about how they'll be quitting their job or college to go on a journey to become a Pokemaster. They shed tears of joy, looking to the shining sun in the sky, and quietly whisper, Thank you! Finally, it's here, the Pokemon experience we've dreamed of as children. Thank you! Not to be a killjoy, but these people are pretty naive and stupid. I know some of them are joking to an extent, but many of them seem to genuinely believe that Pokemon Go will be a lot like it is in the promo video. For starters, Pokemon Go will just be a smartphone app, not an immersive, high-tech, virtual reality headset. It won't project HD holograms wherever you go. You won't see a Pikachu digging through a trash can in a back alley, and you won't see a Snorlax do a cannonball off a bridge into a lake with water splashing all the spectating Pokemon fans. What you will see is an image of a Pokemon on your phone, most likely on a generic grassy background, and you'll just tap the screen to catch it. There are some silly articles from websites like CNET, Popular Science, and ABC that include the words augmented reality in the title without further mentioning it in their articles. Now, maybe I didn't dig deep enough, but I don't see any mention of AR technology on the official Pokemon Go webpage. Maybe it will feature AR Pokemon, who knows? However, from what I can tell, the developers haven't said anything about this. People are most likely assuming it will use the AR technology based on the highly exaggerated promotional video which shows HD Pokemon all over the city in real life. You know what else they show? About three seconds of actual game footage at the end of the video. That footage just shows a cartoony looking Pokemon on a typical grassy green background. I mean, it is highly misleading that the promo video boasts that you can discover Pokemon in the real world, but please, let's use our heads before hopping on the hype train. Here are some quotes from the official Pokemon Go webpage. You'll discover Pokemon in a whole new world, your own! Pokemon Go will use real location information to encourage players to search far and wide in the real world to discover Pokemon. Now the real world will be the setting. What does that mean? It means you won't be traveling from Pallet Town to Pewter City to face off against the gym leader in hopes of collecting a Pokemon League badge. It means your phone will tell you to walk 500 steps and you'll probably have a 50-50 chance at capturing a Charmander. Well, that depends on how casual the game will be. Hopefully you'd at least have to battle the Pokemon to weaken it, but this next quote might indicate otherwise. A small device called a Pokemon Go Plus will enable Pokemon Go players to enjoy the game even when they're not looking at their smartphone. Players can catch Pokemon or perform other simple actions by pressing the button on the device. Let's break this down a bit. What they're saying is that you won't be looking at your smartphone. There will be no visuals, your little Poke Watch will just light up and tell you that you're ready to catch a Pokemon. You'll push a button on it, and that's it. You've caught it. Here's a link to a press conference confirming this accessory will have no screen, and thusly, no visuals. So, let's review the information we've gathered so far. There will be no towns, gym leaders, or storyline. Instead, you'll just walk around the city you live in. To top it off, catching Pokemon, one of the most important parts of the game, is considered a simple action and will merely require a button press. Are you excited yet? I'm not. This sounds like a glorified pedometer. I've got nothing against encouraging exercise, but it's laughable that some people believe this is the Pokemon experience we've been dreaming about since the year 2000. Besides capturing the Pokemon, you're left with the next most important aspect of the game, the battles. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to find a Pokemon player anywhere, anytime, and challenge them to a battle? In theory, yes. In practice, no. If you've battled people online in Pokemon X and Y, it's obvious why this is nothing to be excited for. The first problem is that most Pokemon are simply not viable for battle. For example, if you bring your favorite Pikachu to battle, it simply won't stand a chance against higher tier, fully evolved Pokemon. So if you can't use your favorites, who can you use? That leads us to our second problem. Most people only use legendary Pokemon or a handful of god-tier Pokemon. Out of 150 monsters, you can maybe only use 10 if you actually want to win. There are now over 700 Pokemon, and only a select few are ever used in competitive battles due to their obvious advantages. I have no doubt you'd be seeing a lot of that in Pokemon Go, completely souring the experience and making battles pointless. Oh, I almost forgot the best part. Another quote from Pokemon Go's webpage. Pokemon Go will be available for download at no charge on the App Store and Google Play. In-app purchases will be available. This means they're going to monetize the experience in some way. So, what kind of restrictions can we expect? Maybe they'll give you three Pokeballs in a day and you'll have to pay real money if you want more? 
Maybe I will be able to pay for increased capture rates like in Pokemon Shuffle. Perhaps one dollar to recover your Pokemon at a Poke Center if you don't want to wait until the next day for them to recover on their own? I expect this to be another pay to win game like Pokemon Shuffle. So, the adventure will be crummy, the capturing will be crummy, and the battles will be crummy. To top it off, you'll have to pay real money for this watered down experience if you want to succeed. I dare say this could be one of the worst Pokemon games to date. Like any sane person, of course I think it would be cool if we could actually have something like the promo video. Sadly, it's just not realistic at this point. With any luck, we'll have something like that affordably available in about 20 years or so.